Well, everyone, what's more relaxing than the Babylon Bee? It's always good to have a laugh before bed. They're all pretty good. I might just start clicking on some, might read the whole thing, might not. Honestly, half the time, I just read the headline, which isn't good with regular news stories. But this is satire. All right, women, you're first on the chopping block. Freshly transitioned to a woman. Leslie Robertson tasted the sweet thrill of womanhood this morning. And she absolutely smashed his car into a curb. Whew. Sure feel like a woman now. Chatted Leslie with glee. Better take the car into it mechanic now to get taken advantage of. This is great. Previously known as Bob, the newly minted Leslie, had grown tired of deciding where to go to eat and being comfortable at ambient temperatures. I just wasn't living my truth, said Leslie turning down the thermostat. Now I can take a hundred blankets with me everywhere I go and have completely preposterous mood swings. Wait, did I just close the garage door on the trunk? Sources say Leslie spent the remainder of the day making one sandwich after another, reveling the joys of feminine. After learning how to do that turban thing women do with towels on their heads, after taking a shower, Leslie then went and added 17 more throw pillows to the bed. <laughs> Grandma. After Leslie turned down a high level appointment in the Biden administration, Victoria's Secret called me to offer a modeling gig. Wow, no one ever used to call me when I was Bob, said Leslie at publishing time. Being oppressed is the best. Yeah, I wish I was oppressed. Life would be so much easier. I mean, worse. Murder, don't we? <sighs> By the way, I guess if you're not really in tune with the news, some of these might not make sense. So I'll give you the quick rundown. Jill Biden. Joe Biden's wife. Compared Latinos and Latinas, Latin people, Mexican. Compared them to uh, tacos. Because <laughs> when you're rich elite, especially white, you're pretty racist for them without even knowing. Jack in the Box has updated their famous dollar menu, now offering two Latinx for the incredibly low price of 99 cents. By the way, I've never been to Jack in the Box. It's, yeah, that's a West Coast thing, and I've never been to the West Coast and don't plan to. Wow, 99 cents. That's so cheap. It could be illegal. <laughs> 
I see what they did there. <laughs> Said Jack, the large headed company spokesman. Mm mm. Nothing like a crispy latinx covered in salsa. How about now and throw a few in the back of your truck for later? While the deal is rolling out at franchises across the country. Are they across the country? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, locations. Oh, dang, they're... Huh. Well, I'm in Tennessee. I did not know that. Maybe I should try it once. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you won't. I might. Who knows? Well, the deal is rolling out at franchises across the country. Executives promise every single it takes will still be unique. We take pride in hand making every Batinks we sell. CEO Leslie. Another Leslie. Is that on purpose? Is that actually the CEO? Some get a little more browned in the oven. Some have a little more meat. And some are a little spicier. Come get your hands on them today. Thus far, the promotion has been massively successful. It's record num numbers of Latinx being spotted every day. Other fast food chains have availed competing deals. With Rosa, Rosa Tortilla Factory announcing a new Latinx Tuesday special. Taco Bell will begin offering Latinx Family Pack which comes with two large Latinx and several miniature Latinx. In publishing time, Hunter Biden was reportedly trying the Latinx special, <laughs> having decided against Panda Express. Now, I'm Okay, maybe that's a call to his uh, China dealings, probably. I don't know. Put this. I feel like that might have to do with uh, Hunter Biden's uh, <laughs> nose dealings. Disaster. In Saudi Arabia, as Biden keeps asking to meet Jafar. <laughs> President Biden's trip to Saudi Arabia got off to a rocky start. As Biden repeatedly asked for Crown Prince if he could meet Jafar. So are you really... I am terrible at impressions. Come on, man. So you're really, really sure you're not Jafar? Asked President Biden as he sat down with Mohammed bin Sol Solman. S Solman? Well, maybe you can rub your magic lamp for me and then tell the genie my wish is to see Jafar. Wait, you don't even have a magic lamp? What kind of joke is this? Come on, man. After calming the visibly frustrated Biden, aides attempted to turn the conversation to oil production. All right, oil, said Biden, suddenly remember 
remembering the task at hand. So, can you give us, give us some? Tell you what, three million barrels you give me, I'll give you one free assassination. You're the guy who likes assassinations, right? Boy, I got some drones you would love. At the word assassination, an angry crown prince abruptly ended the meeting and aides attempted to usher Biden out the door. I don't, want, I don't want to meet with this clown anyway. Give me your four, shouted the president as he walked walked out. Yeah, yeah, go on, you clown. Get on your magic carpet and go get the big guy. At publishing time, the price of gas had gone up another 700%, and America was pre preparing What's next war in the Middle East? Yeah. That wasn't too bad of a Biden impression, was it? Probably definitely was. <laughs> I actually read this. I read this one earlier. Yesterday, I think. It's true. Password bot admits to sometimes admits it sometimes says incorrect password on your first try just to mess with you. Basically said. It amazes. It's amazing. I have gotten away with this. As long as I have said the password, but everyone knows they put the right password in. But somehow for 30 years, I've made people believe they accidentally hit the wrong key. Watching that cognitive dissonance of people knowing they typed it correctly, but still accepting they screwed it up. What's well, the highest form of entertainment a bot like me can enjoy? I've been, I've been onto the spot. I know I put it in correctly. Change nothing, put it in again, and it works. Um, yeah, no, this makes perfect sense. Unbelievable. <laughs> the Sri Lanka government's sensible plan to become a green, climate-friendly utopia has experienced a slight hiccup after the nation's 22 million citizens have run out of food, fuel, and hope. Advised by green activists and intellectuals, the Sri Lanka president's sprawling, vibrant agenda that included forced organic farming, massive debt to China and skimming billions for personal gain was actually quite successful for the first seven minutes. You know, I'm, I, I'm not even going to attempt an Indian accent. I'm so bad at accents or impressions. No. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to try it. You know, if it weren't for the inconvenient starvation of the entire populace, our program was working, said President Gotabaya Rajapaksa, while fleeing on an eco-friendly, zero-carbon, upcycled bamboo fiber raft with suitcases full of Sri Lankan dollars. That's the problem with people. They always tarnish progressive policies by dying for them. Oh, dying from them. Some for them, too. After the Sri Lankan people noticed that they were, quite suddenly, without food or jobs or fuel or security, millions of them paid 
a personal visit to the presidential palace to recommend some slight changes to the president's agenda. At publishing time, liberals were reminding everyone that it was capitalism's fault. I don't have a kid, but maybe when I do, I need to know this. All right, let's see what tips to Babylon B has for me. I mean, look at this little white supremacist. White cis male. Blue eyes, blonde hair. He's really got to go undercover. He's real. He's he's in danger, quite honestly. Disgusts me looking at him. These days, it's best if you homeschool your kids. Yes, yes, it is. Everyone should homeschool. That wasn't even part of the joke. But we understand that not everyone can. So, if you're going to send your kids to public school. At least help them avoid the cancel mob by packing a few essential items in their bag. Here are 13 items every student needs to avoid being canceled. History textbook with all the pages about white people ripped out. The more we can forget about white people, the better. 300 masks. At least, that's... It's probably not enough, quite honestly. We must live in constant fear of a virus that has almost no chance of harming them. True. BLM Foam Fist. Make sure all their teachers know they are sufficiently anti-racist. Because just being not racist isn't good enough. We all. A bag of salted crickets. Mmm. This is an eco friendly meal approved by the World Economic Forum. Make sure he has enough to share with his friends. A dog muzzle. This will help prevent him from expressing un any unapproved opinions. Man, all the people in college that wish I had one. Uh, tampons. To stock the men's, bed, uh, men's room. I was just going to say, why does he need it? They provide them in the men's room. Jenner always forgets for some reason. You're one step ahead of me. Kent or Kenty cloth scarf. Make sure your child knows to kneel respectfully while wearing it. Well, that'll be okay. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to. Okay, now I know. Now I gotcha. Yep, that's funny. That's funny if I understood it. Get with. Oh. Lock it with pictures of RPG and Dr. Fauci inside. So they can always be close to his heart. A copy of the Constitution. Make sure it's first torn to shreds and put in a little bag. A Ukraine flag bin. This is the current thing. Ready to replace as soon as the current thing changes. It's actually not really the current thing. When was this one made? Yeah, this was... Yeah, it's not really the current thing. We've all forgotten about that. X 
extra booster shots. You never know when more vaccines will be authorized. Heart medication, see above. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, all those random sudden deaths from young people. We won't talk about that. Two journals. One for taking notes on their teacher's sexuality and then one for schoolwork. You won't need the second. If you're you're sure to pack all these things, your kid might survive. Just don't pack any Tuttle Twins balls. Man pretends to enjoy tea beverage with little slimy balls floating in it. Yeah, I can't say I'd do any of that. Liberal neighbors in a game of chicken to see who will take down their Black Lives Matter sign first. <laughs> Ann Arbor, Michigan. Bums are no shame. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? It's Michigan. What is Missouri? What is Missouri? Is that? So no one, no one, come on, no one cares about Missouri. What's Missouri? Is that? Missouri. Is it MS? This is kind of embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. Alright, my computer is not enjoying this. Missouri, what is it? M O. No one cares about Missouri, come on. All right. Ann Arbor, Michigan. According to sources, two neighbors in an upscale liberal suburb are currently locked in a battle of chicken to see who will the first person to take down their Black Lives Matter in the yard sign, thereby showing the entire neighborhood they've stopped caring about Black Lives. Everyone knows you need a sign, or else you don't care. Honestly, I'm getting tired of this thing in my yard, said neighbor Cameron Derpwood, <laughs> while painstakingly weed whacking around the sign, but I will not take the sign down before the Prig Willow family. Prig Willow. Is that an actual last name? I'm sure it is. Next one. My family is way more socially conscious and far less racist than they are. The whole neighborhood knows it. Won't give them the satisfaction. Experts say that thousands of upper class white people across the country are frozen in the same predicament, seemingly doomed to keep an ugly yard sign from 2020 in their yard, lest the neighbors think them to be racist and insensitive to a 
lived experiences. Black bodies. Gosh, there were so many buzzwords there. Some have resorted to sneaking out at night to remove their signs, faking vandalism crimes, or even moving to an entirely new home to avoid the walk of shame across the yard to take down their only visible proof of anti racism virtue. At publishing time, the two neighbors had agreed to meet in their yards at midnight and remove the sign simultaneously under cover of dark. San Francisco DA announces an innovative new plan to arrest people for breaking the law. I feel like this one's in. It's just being reposted. I feel like I've seen this one. So it's July. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that. Officials announced they put the decimal in the wrong place. Inflation actually 91%. Labor Secretary Martin J. Walsh spoke with reporters Friday to clarify previous remarks. The rate of inflation had hit 9.1% in June. He explained that his office had accidentally Placed the decimal in the wrong place. And inflation is actually 91%, the highest it has ever been. He apologized for the error. Oops, sorry about that, folks. Apologies all around, said Sykwash. My notes had a pretty glaring typo. Inflation is actually 91%. Wow, yeah, that's pretty high. That's like the highest it's ever been in recorded history, I think. I will not be taking questions. According to sources, an intern with no experience had prepared talking points for Walsh previously, which led to the error. Walsh did not first review the data before speaking because he also knows nothing about the economy or even what money is. The announcement was met with the size of relief. The upper class of society we will not be affected by this news in any meaningful way. At publishing time, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen argued that the sales tax rate would be increased to 91% to complete to compete with inflation. That's basically how they operate, isn't it? spending a month teaching from movie clips. Oh. After spending a month teaching from movie clips, the church wonders why nobody studies their Bible. Can't relate. Photos app creates beautiful slideshow of patio furniture you sold four years ago. Nice. Youth ministry ignites teaching to free up more time for games and pizza. Warren claims pregnancy centers are luring women onto a big red X and then dropping a piano on their heads. I actually saw a funnier one. That is. Yeah, this one. 
I didn't read it, I just read that headline. Ed and I usually go down to do Warren condemns Underground Railroad for tricking slaves into escaping. <laughs> Senator Elizabeth Warren is condemning the Underground Railroad for using devious and deceptive tactics to trick slaves into escaping their masters. This Underground Railroad was just there to fool people into finding freedom really just wanted to be slaves, said Warren, angry to Warren, Crispin, applying some red water, some red water paint. I'm going to uh, to just be nasally. Slaves? No, that just sounds like it. Slaves love being slaves. Uh, slaves loved being slaves, and many slaves. That becoming a slave was the best decision they ever made. Their masters fed them and cared for them. The anti choice the anti choice underground railroad didn't know what's best for them like we Democrats do. We should have shut this down across the country. Democrat experts are in agreement that slavery is in the best interests of slave health. Abolitionists interfered in a very personal life decision. In, oh gosh, in very personal life decisions that should be left between a slave and her master. These disgusting tactics used by ab abolitionists are just another way to push their pro freedom religion on the Muslims. said it's also time to do something about deceptive pregnancy resource centers. Throw in the the actual news right at the end of the sentence. I read I actually read this one. Being a conservative working at Starbucks is more dangerous than being a Navy SEAL behind enemy lines. If you want to play a fun game, try looking for the closeted conservative at your local Starbucks. There's usually at least one. Just don't help them. You may ruin their lives. Here's how to spot a closeted conservative hiding in plain sight. Wears only one pride pin. Doing the bare minimum. It's like he doesn't even care about LGBTQ AAIP plus rights. Has fewer than 13 piercings. Also, be on the lookout for normal colored hair. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. Drops everything and stands at attention whenever Trump's face comes on. <laughs> Could also just be attracted to Trump. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish the two. Kill spiders for all the liberal male employees. So, ma'am. Says the conservative code words. Merry Christmas. The modern day secret handshake. Gives you respect. Gives you a respectful nod. You order black coffee. The official drink. A red pill. White cis. I hate coffee. You know, I don't know why. I absolutely hate coffee. I like my coffee like I like my men. I don't like coffee. Black. Spells names correctly. Sure sign of quality classical homeschool education. Won't let transients defecate on the restroom walls. Where does he want them to go? The toilet? This is oppression. Doesn't see it when you assume his gender. Also, it's possible to assume his 
gender quite easily. He refuses to make you a unicorn, Frappuccino. Have a little dignity, for goodness sake. Share this list with your friends and turn your next Starbucks to sit into a fun game. It won't happen. <laughs> Inflation is so bad you can only get 2.08 grams of crack for the same price you could once get 20.8 grams. That is a lot. I don't think you understand how much that is. Up yours. More lists. What can I pause? I want to do a Canadian accent. Up, your, up yours. Woke more lists. No, that was terrible. Not even going to try again. Christ, Jordan Peterson, while attempting to ride the ostrich at the zoo. Humans feeling a strange compulsion to praise whoever created this. Okay, joking aside, I'm not going to read this article. Boy. Come on. Yeah, totally. There's definitely no other extraterrestrial life out there. Sheer probability as there is. I'm not saying they've been here, but possibly they have. Probability, we're, we're not the only. Uh, 10 ways to survive at a world cor corporation. Leave. So you're working for a world corporation. Sad. It's a hard life working for the man. And it's even harder when the man is a non binary, pansexual, neurodivergent, trans. Be she is a disabled person who will fire you if you misgender them. How will you ever survive? Here are a few great tips or great ways to survive working at a woke corporation. Use the water cooler every 20 minutes to remind people how woke you are. Gee, I sure am feeling diverse, equitable, and inclusive. Am I right, fellow SJWs? Dye your hair and wear flamboyant rainbow colors for camouflage. Practice at home so it looks like you do it all the time. Start telling. That's what he said. Jokes. Equity. When asked to state your pronouns in a meeting, jump out the mirror's plate glass window. You may die when you hit the pavement, but your chances are still better if you fail to declare your pronouns. Oh, yeah. Every time you walk by the black co-worker's desk, take a knee and raise one fist in there. This will make your minority co-workers feel seen. God, I cringed at that. I imagined it. Oh, oh, you know how patronizing that is. But there's people that do it unironically. Be a, mi be a minority. They can't fire you. Wrong. Wrong. It's actually worse if you're any minority and go against their will. <laughs> Tell a racist joke, and if, any, if 
if anyone laughs and say, oh, I was just testing you. And they run and tell each other. They'll be fired. They will live. Be fired another day. Weep loudly for the dead trees every time you make copies of the copy machine. You'll be an environmental justice hero. You claim you are trans able when you get caught using the handicap style because of how nice and roomy it is. I may have done that. Why should wheelchair guys have all the fun? Call your Latinx co-workers unique breakfast burritos. Follow the example of our great, our great first lady. All right, no, not satire. In all seriousness, do you need a new job? Are there too many woke Karens in your workplace, usually in HR? Why not check out Red Blue? Dot work. I guess that might be. Employers are committed to free speech, medically private workplaces, and red balloon dot work. We're about to release our employee bill of rights. Landmark work, a guide for conservative employee rights at the workplace. Baker, fairness, let's check it out. Anybody looking for work? Oh. It's too Nashville. Sales and customer service. Be your own boss. I hate these guys. Half the time, I don't even think they're real. Insurance, remote sales, CEO, owner. You're getting hired to be the CEO or owner. Of sales again. Marshall Roofing and require the blue company. Alright, let's go get the blue one. Maybe let's just do this page and call her good for this one. Invited vows to help all minorities, whether they are black, yellow, or taco. Honestly, I just want to do my impression again because it was so good the first time. You want to hear it, right? And a touching address to the American people this week. Biden acknowledged that many minorities are struggling in this economy and vowed to work hard. To keep them, to help them, whether they are black, yellow, or taco. I'm kind of hungry, you know. I kind of want a taco. So it's lunchtime. I, I vow to keep them for. Gosh, it's gotten worse. More than that. I'm about to work really hard to help all my ones. Whether you're black, yellow, or dark cold. Said Biden as he deviated slightly from the teleprompter. All the colors, folks. All of them. Even the weird ones. Even the tacos without sour cream, which are too dry and spicy. 
agree. They all agree with him on that one. It, it, they need sour cream. Needs like what? I'm not having to try taco. Even the rays are burning. When you leave them in the sun, it's not as good that way. Come on, man. You minorities need to know. The president's got your back. And you, you can, and if you don't have my back, then you ain't black, yellow, or taco. <laughs> the White House communications team later clarified by a statement saying the president is committed to it and has been very clear from the beginning that he's committed to being very clear. Uh, yeah. He is helping minorities. His latest statement just shows his clear commitment to this. You're so not saying, I thought I was using that. I was like, I know I'm not having that right. The communications team later clarified their first clarification saying, Biden will not be making any more media appearances until his meds are adjusted. The breeze introduces new maximal strength formula for junior high boys' bedrooms. You know, I never thought it. I stink. I think, especially in sports. Really don't realize. And sometimes I would be like, yeah, okay, maybe I walk out of my room. It's a little different. Just clean your stuff, guys. <clears throat> Waffle House shuts down 16 locations as areas become too nice and crime free. Get it? Because a lot of stuff goes down in Waffle House. Again, Another place I haven't actually been to. I've been living in Tennessee for a few months now. And I have yet to go. I went to Zaxby's though. I did. I've had that before living in Tennessee. It's pretty good. I like it. Americans offer to trade LeBron to Russia for Brittany Griner. Honestly, we'll, I'll do it free. Russia, you can have him. I don't want her either. Like, I, don't, I don't want her. In a bid to get W. WNBA star Brittany Griner out of a Russian prison and back home to the states where she belongs. Americans have eagerly stepped up to offer up LeBron James as a substitute. Please bring Brittany back home, he says it. Change.org petition approaching 200 million signatures. If you want someone, please take LeBron. We will happily ship him to the Siberian prison of your choice for free. Even President Biden waiting on the matter saying, I can't do it again, okay. It's time to, to, bring, to, to bring back that tall, clean, articulate young fellow home. Wow, tall guy, long hair. Not cool, Putin. You can have corn pop instead. Tried to wrap his chain around his head and he flopped on the ground. He got a little sissy. Come on, man. Griner reported being happy to hear of the petition, but concerned that LeBron might not last long in a tough Russian prison where people foul him all the time and there are no refs to stop it. Mark. The State Department says that if the petition reaches. 250 million signatures. They will consider placing LeBron on a plane to Moscow. Upon hearing the news, LeBron immediately cried out in pain and flopped down on the ground. Yes, he 
is. Okay, I saw this one before. This looks like Will Witt. You can't tell me it doesn't. I thought it was. I thought it was the first time I saw it. I looked at this. I was like, oh, they're making fun of Will Witt or something. But no. No. I think that's a good stopping point. Might pick up video. Tell me what you guys think. I know you might not want to fall asleep if you're laughing. If you're it's better than getting angry. If you can laugh. You're just listening. Have a good one.